to have your company um we're science in a van we normally go all over new zealand doing science shows in schools many of you know that because we've been to your school but at the moment we're at home so we're coming to you through the wonderful internet we are on the line my name is emily and this is alan so thank you for being here it's really really great hey facebookers just so you know edith Hi. Um, if you want us to respond to your comment, please go over to YouTube. Um, and we're a right way, man. Because I can just see your name, but it's far away land. So please um, pop onto YouTube. That'd be really great. Good to have you here. Yay! Oh, surprise, surprise. The Kovacs is in the house. Boom. RMJ 100. Yeah. He missed day eight and nine. That's all good. It's just, okay, bro. Just go onto the website. That's it. To the what? What is the website, Alan? The website is www.scienceinavan or one word dot co dot nz. Look at you. There, yeah. And there's actually a little special link that's Science in a Van Live. It's got all the days, all the stuff you need, all the past videos. Um, so please go there um and check it out. You're gonna have a great time. But we've got a few extra bits and bobs like from the science learning hub up there, right? Eh? Oh, yeah. There We've go. got friends in high places. There Science are. Learning Hub are amazing. They have links to all sorts of amazing things. So every couple of days there's links to stuff that you can um, make your brain work a bit harder. Cool. <laughs> hey, um, in the comments, can you please put, I can't see it right now, how many subscribers have we got now? Does anybody know? I think it's maybe nearly 600. Ooh, I'm feeling popular. I'm feeling popular popular um we actually need a thousand though so we can get on our phones get outside because on saturday alan what are we doing we are doing we are doing that most requested experiment which involves mentos and fizzy drink so if you want to see that we need to get up to a thousand so we can get our cameras outside because I don't think our shed could survive much more no. of this chaos and madness. We are not making more mess in the, sh in the garage. Hey, uh, the Kiddity sisters said we have 596. Lots of people are telling us 596. Oh. <gasps> so close to 600. So that close. So, true. so close. Um, four, four, four. Cut. Let's see if we can get so four more people while we do this broadcast. Eh? So, so if any of you are watching this on your other networks, whack it out. Let's try and get over 600. So and obviously, let's get to a thousand, but let's get to 600 in this broadcast. That'd be amazing. It would be amazing. Oh, kia ora, Emma. I think those are our friends from Mangare Bridge School. Nice to have you here. We did a shout out for you a couple of days ago. Um, on that, before we get started on the experiments, Alan, stop it. I'm stop excited. It. It's a big day today. You calm down. You just calm down. Highs and lows at the moment, eh? Highs and lows. All right. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, before we get on to that, um, I'm trying to get a bit more organised. I'm getting into my rhythm. I've started a journal, Alan. I know. I've started a journal. Put in the comments if you're doing a journal too. It's been good for me, I have to say. Probably better for Alan that I'm doing one. Anyway, um, but I'm trying to get organised. So each day I'm trying to do a shout-out to somebody that's science and a van mad. So if you're a science and a van fan, doing something fun at home, um, an adult in your household will send us a message or a picture of you doing something science in a vanny, um, that would be really, really great. Oh, show. <laughs> so I don't know what's happening with YouTube. They're hiding some of your comments. You're all being very respectable, so I don't know why it's hiding it. Um, yeah, so that is science in a van shout out. So, Alan, how many people we've got online now? We've got 16 on YouTube, 7 on Facebook. <laughs> I feel like that's enough. That's 21. That's that's numbers. Yeah. We're not science. Yeah. We're not maths in a van. 
are we? Let's be honest. Okay, Emily, Emily's all ready. I'm ready. Are you ready, Alan? Cool. I'll look after the comments. Excellent. You show them what's going on there. Okay, my friends. So, um, Emily, we're going to look at the experiment we set up yesterday. If you've not done it, that's perfectly cool. Watch out, do it at a later date. All is good. Yesterday, at the end of the show, we put an egg in a glass and we poured some vinegar over that egg yep. and then we just left it. We have not touched it or anything um, like that. Did well, you touch it in the night type? No. Maybe, did you? maybe not. I can't possibly confirm or deny that. I might have had a little tattoo, a little look. There we go. So all is good. But the thing is, is it is worth just making some observations. Yeah. And you probably did look at it, let's be honest. I told you not to touch it. You're going to touch it. No, I'm going to say. There we go. That's so, the way it is. So we can see these bubbles. We can see this fizzing. Now, if you have done this, I suggest you just hold fire and keep it in its container somewhere. I'm yeah. going to explain the first bit of the process. I feel like this is going to be then messy. You can you can <laughs> kind of do it throughout the video or after the video. But just watch what's going on for a moment. Okay. It does get a bit messy. So first of all, camera, eh? first of all, please be really, really careful. I can't I don't want to spoil the surprise, but be really careful with your egg. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the egg out of what does that look like, the glass. Al? The egg out of the glass. Man, I wish I had a mobile yep. phone to and do we're this. We're going to put it down there. And now, for my observations, we can already see that something is going on. Oh, we can see that. And if we just start rubbing at this very gently, it's almost like the shell is coming off. On your fingers, it's and that disgusting. is exactly what's happening. Oh, I can't do this anymore. Removing, you might have to come closer to the camera. We're removing. That's really difficult. The um, so I'm going to come up close. That's extremely gross, Alan. Yeah, can you turn that light onto my hand? I can, Alan. Extreme, yeah. Did you get that? Yeah. Extremely. Did extremely you get gross. Did yeah, you? I got it. Okay, cool. And we can slowly rub the shell off. Yeah. So that's what we're doing for now. Don't get on that pooter. Yep. That's what we're doing for now, just rubbing the egg and rubbing the shell off. So we've spoken about properties of materials, what it looks like, how it behaves. You might want to just give it a little rinse in some water or under the tap and just keep rubbing it until you completely remove That's quite the cool. shell. So what is it? Is it, does it feel the same? Um, do you want to touch it? Um. Yeah, yeah, of course I want to touch it. That's where I was going with that comment. So you can touch and make an observation. It's not going to, okay. <gasps> it's bouncy. It's bouncy. I don't like it. Don't throw it on your floor, though. A low it's actually quite right. a bit. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm okay now. I'm desensitised. Yeah. So um, can, can we, um, oh, yeah, you're going to have to take it off the camera. That's amazing. That is quite amazing. So we've managed. Yeah. Yeah, so we've managed to remove oh, all the shell. And it's stuff. bouncy. I'm just rubbing it here. You'll feel like um, you'll feel like a sandy sort of material build up in your hands. That's good because if you keep rubbing, you're going to keep taking. You're going to keep taking the shell off, and as you can see, I've got a little breakthrough here, and we're going to keep rubbing, and we're going to let that sandy texture build up on our hands. And as that sandy texture builds up, we slowly rub away. So it's amazing. That, so I'm going to do this for a bit longer. Emily's going to make uh, look at some comments. Is anyone doing this uh, with us at home? Uh, if so, yeah. how are they going? Um, I know. Um, Rita and Co. Have they um, got one ready yesterday? So they might be doing this along with us. I'm not 100 percent mm. sure. Um, if they're on YouTube, they can put in the comments. Um, why am I looking there? I can look here. I'm not there. Um, I can't read the one that Ivan's just put. I can't quite get my eyes around it. Um, so you just keep rubbing it in your people hands. People are going, oh, uh, Mikel said, is it going to glow in the dark? I think Ooh. I know where you're going with that. 
if you hold it to the oh you're taking even more off now yeah yeah once once you so we we've on our oh oliver's doing it of course nice he is one, oliver. teachers pet love you oliver on our one we've got awesome. a little bit of a shell just holding in and there and i'm just slowly rubbing it on my hand the shell in my hand is like a very fine um gritty sandy type Feel. A lot of people are freezing out. <laughs> that's helping to rub the egg. And we keep going. Keep going out. Oh, I'm just so sorry. I can't help you right now, Alan. Oh, this, oh, I wish I was doing that. I've done this experiment a few times, and um, sometimes the shell comes off quite quickly. I've yeah. just dropped it back into the vinegar. I wonder there. if it matters how long you leave it in for. Yeah. But I normally leave it in for 24 hours, which is about what we're left in yeah, now. That's true. So different things happen at different times. That's perfectly fine. Alan, you covered in goop. Yep, that's all good. It's all good. It's all so, good, apparently. It's all good. So as I was saying, this is taking a little longer than it normally does. That's fine. And that's okay. That's a dry as a live sign. Hey, we've got time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, – Leave this, explain what's happening, mm -hmm. and I carry on in a bit. And I might just put a photograph up at the end of the day. So I'm going to drop that mm -hmm. back into the vinegar because that's a good place for it. I've took some of the material off, and then we're just going to let the vinegar react with that material more. And that's what's going on. So, Emily, yes, I'd just like to quickly explain what's happening here. I would love that because there's a lot going on there. There is a lot going on there. So I'm overwhelmed. We have spoken about the periodic table of elements, or as Emily calls it, the cupboard of the universe. The cupboard of the universe. Now, materials. Materials have properties. We spoke about materials properties yesterday with the feedy bag. So I hope you've been playing with that. I hope you've been tricking each other a little bit with that as well. Now, here's the thing. Material properties, mm -hmm. what they look like, how they yeah. behave. Mm -hmm. So the properties of the vinegar is affecting the properties of the shell of the egg. I say the shell of the egg because the membrane of the egg, the white of the egg, and the yolk of the egg are remaining the same. The only thing that is changing is the shell, okay, Emily? Okay. So the shell is changing thanks to the effect that the vinegar is having now the vinegar is an acid it is yeah and the shell is made up of calcium and when acid hits calcium it starts to break it down so we're breaking down the um calcium off the shell of the egg and um, the, vi the vinegar the acid is having an effect on that so the properties of materials is having an effect on this and it's the acid that is having an effect on the calcium and breaking it down. And you noticed those little bubbles, didn't you? I cannot help notice the bubbles. It's kind of, well, it doesn't look like, it looked like when we poured it on yesterday. That's all I have to say. Yeah. So we might want to think about what's in those bubbles. And um, something I'd like to say, bubbles in science, Scientists love bubbles. Bubbles tell you so much. They tell you something's happening, there's gases being mm. produced, and lots of interesting things. So bubbles are a real big thing in science, mm. and um, even hearing bubbles sometimes excite scientists. But, you know, we can talk about that another Hello. day. So, you like bubbles in the bathtub, don't you? I do like bubbles in the bath. There we go. So we're going to now. You walk right into that one. I'm going to keep cleaning the egg up a bit yes, more. Please. And he's going to talk about um, what's coming up and that. But yes. we do have another demonstration for you today. We do. So don't go anywhere. And uh, we've got joke of the day. Here we have now. I might yeah. have just Googled it. Hey, so um, Oliver had a really good question on the comments. I can answer part of it. He keeps saying, what elements are in the vinegar and the egg? Oh. So um, you might have guessed already that we don't know everything. Should come as no surprise. Um, I don't know about what atoms, what elements make up the egg, but we know there's calcium in the eggshell. Yep. But I do actually know what elements are in vinegar, which makes me very excited because I know something and I, I'm not really good at retaining knowledge like that, but I've got vinegar. So vinegar is made out of four things, only four things. You've got hydrogen, mm -hmm. you've 
you've got oxygen, you've got carbon, and you've got sodium. I can't tell you how many atoms of each thing, but they come together and they make the vinegar molecule. And can I just say, I can hear the round of applause from here because that was quite a brainy moment, wasn't it, Alan? Back yep. me up. Yeah, that was a fantastic moment. The <laughs> other thing to bear in mind, and um, this ain't quite answering Oliver's question, no, but I'd definitely but say not that. Point. I'd definitely say that to Google. Wait, another thing is, is we talk about what are things made up of, mm. and they're normally made up of more than one thing. So even molecules, like molecules, are made up of several atoms, and most materials we have around us exist as molecules, not just a single element. The other thing to bear in mind is I'm holding an egg. We're removing the shell to end up with just the membrane with the um, white in it and then the yolk. And there's other materials there as well. So different parts of the egg will be made up of different materials, okay? So the, part of, the parts of the egg, will be made up of different materials. So Hans is late, right? Hello, Hans. You're all right, mate. It's all good. I'm just rubbing an egg. Welcome He's to He's like, world. what are we doing? Hans, mate, you got to be on time. I'm joking. We're just looking at the experiment from yesterday. We put an egg and vinegar yesterday, and now we're seeing how it's reacted together and it's changed. Because when materials come together, they often change, like it's a thing. All right? Um, but we're talking about materials. You might have, um, oh, my gosh, Oliver is onto it. I feel like somebody's done a Google. Wow, you need to look at Oliver's comment. He is all over this. Um, but we're talking about materials, so I thought, Alan, should we move on to our next experiment? Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to show my bottom. Yeah, Pardon? I'm going to show the bottom of the egg. Oh, right, yeah, just sorry, clarifying. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I don't know how well you can see that, but we're getting, this, we're, getting this, we're getting this clearer bottom here and stuff like that. I'm slowly rubbing this away. This is taking slightly longer than I have in the past. But that's all cool. Like Emily says, we do have time. There's still quite a thickness of shell. So if you find it too thick and you don't want to get messy, just wipe what will come off off and then put it back into the vinegar. So, Ellen, you know how we're really missing going into schools? Uh-huh. Well, there is a comment here that makes me feel like I'm back doing a life science show in your school because Gemma said, can you eat the egg? Which eat? is like the classic question. Anything we do, eat it. I'm not going to eat it. Are you going to eat it? Up? I'm not going to eat it. But I'm what, plant -based. I, what I would say, that is something you can decide to do, uh, check with your adults. <laughs> the fact that we're only using vinegar should mean that um, whatever state the egg in is, it is kind of safe to eat. What it quite tastes like, I don't know. And more, uh, yuck. Yeah, obviously I would cook it first as well. So, but I reckon if you was crazy enough, you could probably break it and open and fry it. But let us know how that's got on, and nice. remember that that's your idea, not mine. Hey, I like that. <laughs> there we go. Do try this at home if it's not our responsibility. Yeah. Good, that's great, Al. Okay. Go. All right. So, I are you ready for the next experiment? I am ready. Are for the next experiment? My, I'm almost clean. Yes. This is good. Okay, so we wanted to show you um, when we're out and about, we like to buy science toys. Mm. That's just the thing. <coughs> so we do have a science toy here. Um, I wonder if you can see it. It's kind of, it looks like an egg, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but it's not exactly the same. Uh, that was extremely clever. It was extraordinary. We still got joke of the day to come up. Yoke of the day. <laughs> These yokes are all here to crack you up. Stop it. Anyway. Okay, cool. So this is called a UFO ball. I don't know why. But it's a really cool thing. So we're going to um, uh, show you how it works. We're going to do a little demo. So Alan's going to help me. Can you – there's, like, two silver, like, metal strips on it. Can you touch one of the metal yeah. strips? I'm going to touch the other metal strip, and then we're going to touch hands. <gasps> Can you hear the difference? It's a fun toy, all right? So it's all to do with electricity, and you probably already know this because you're super-duper brain, eh? But electricity loves flowing in circuits, okay? Electricity loves flowing in circuits. So when we put our fingers there and hold hands, we complete the circuit, okay? Our toy's going to be crazy. I think Alan's hands might be wet. 
maybe. I'm not blaming you. It's just an observation. All right, so so what we're going to do is, so electricity loves making circuits. So it obviously likes our materials that yeah. our body's made up of, but I wonder if it might like other materials. So we're going to do some experiments. Mm -hmm. Get ready on YouTube to put in the comments because we're going to get you to do some predicting, okay? So first up. I have a small shovel. Alan has a small shovel, which other people may or may not call a spoon. It's made out of metal. In a moment, we're going to make the circuit with the spoon in the middle. Will the electricity like this material? Is it going to complete the circuit? Put it in the comments now on YouTube. Will the metal spoon complete the electric circuit? I'm going to hold off out mm -hmm. because they're thinking like scientists. They're making predictions, and I love that. Oh, Mikhail says yes. Anybody else? We'll wait for a couple more. Will the metal complete the circuit? Oh, we've got another yes. <laughs> Steve says extremely. That's very funny. Thank you. Hey. Um, oh, heaps of yeses. Awesome. Okay. So now we're going through the process, right? We had a question. We've made a guess. We're going to test it out and see what happens. Hello. Oh. Totally made a circuit. Well done. Cool. So that made a circuit. Now, I have this ball here, this ball here. This is ball we had in the feedy bag yesterday. What's that made out of? So, so, um, plastic, acrylic. There we go. Cool. So I'm going to hold that. Um, tell your adults or put it in the comments. Will this make the circuit happen? Will the electricity like this material? Uh... Oh, no. I think that's a no. It's different, isn't it? That if, sounds way different. If you touch my skin now, see, that's yeah, it. Yeah, so that's different. There we go. We, yeah. These are slightly temperamental sometimes, yeah. but that's good. Um, so, no, that doesn't really work. So, Emily, this one does not allow the electricity to flow. No. So it kind of blocks the circuit. Yeah. But this one allows the electricity to flow, so it kind of completes the circuit. Absolutely. So we're getting a bit of a theme here. Um, it's not related to our experiment, but we are up to 599 subscribers. <laughs> Thank you for letting us know. It makes me happy and loved and affirmed. Yeah, okay. So what next? Should we try the wooden thing? Yeah, let's try the wooden thing. So here, um, this is, um, again, uh, properties of materials, what it looks like and how the age. This is an organic natural material that has been cut down, but is still a natural material. So let's see Make this. your predictions. Um, I'm going to touch the wood. Oh, nothing. 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 So this, <laughs> this does not allow the electricity to come through. So what is this? Oh, yeah. So they have names. Um, scientists, like a lot of people really, love putting things into categories. So when we're thinking like scientists, yeah. it's a good idea to think about categories. So the materials that electricity likes, they're called conductors. Okay, yep. the materials that electricity doesn't really like are called insulators. Yeah, okay, cool. so if you go into our web page, Science Learning Hub has got a link to all that stuff, which is really cool. Excellent. So let's try the next one. Let's try the Kumara. Oh, Kumara. Oh, this is so, an interesting one. Oh, I'm not sure I'm actually. Like, I might like slice this bit of um, yeah, no, no, but pepper, we're not cooking, bro. shallow fry, make some little kuma chips. And, sorry, Hang just on, Sorry, it. I'm scratching my head over this one because the word, right, mm -hmm. was a no-no. Yeah. And that was natural. Yep. So I'm not I'm not sure. Yeah. Um okay, let's try it. Touching the commodore, I'm gonna touch the metal. <gasps> Um, it totally is a conductor. It is a conductor. The Kuma it's is conducting cool. electricity. So you might want to think the difference between the wood and the Kuma. We're going to put the Kuma That's there. Quite that is fantastic. Amazing. I'm quite cool. surprised at We're that. generally blown away by that. That is quite phenomenal. It's there. quite water. I don't know. I'm thinking it through. Okay. Excellent. You've got one more, Al. Yeah? Got one more thing to show you. I'm very excited about this. I'm a victim of the 80s. I grew up in the 80s. I love building with uh, construction toys like Lego. I also love the Lego movie. And here today we've got Spaceship. We've got Benny joining us. There we go. Can you show so, Facebook, Alan, even though that should be on YouTube because I still appreciate you? 
Spaceship, spaceship. <laughs> there you go. So we've got Benny here. We're going to see if Benny is a conductor that allows electricity to flow or whether if Benny is an insulator and stops the electricity from flowing. He's pretty electric. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to touch him. And then I'm going to touch the fireball. ball. <gasps> Nothing. 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 But hang on, what about if I touch her nose? Hang on, let's take let's <laughs> take the helmet. I've tried Benny's nose. Okay. You ready? I'm touching his nose. Nothing. Try my nose. Nothing. So you're more electrically charged than Benny. So Benny's, I'm making that up. Benny's nose is an insulator. My nose is a conductor. So there we have it, my friends, at Science in a Van. Thank you, Emily, for teaching us so much about noses. I mean, oh, what was the words again? Conductors. Yep. And insulators. A insulator. Oh. What? Shall we try it for water? Oh, oh, okay. So I'm kind of glad you mentioned that because I'm thinking about the water content in the pumata. Haven't quite figured it out yet. But let's do some experiments with the water. So um, put your hand on the side of the nothing. Yeah. What about putting our fingers into the water? Do you think we're going to make a circuit? Is, is water a kind of material that electricity, you know, gets down with? I don't know. Cool. Shall we? So, that's... <gasps> oh! <Wow. laughs> So is this why you don't dry your hair with a hairdryer in the bath? So many reasons why you shouldn't do that. But that is a top one, Al. That's a top one. That's a top one. Okay, so really, really fun. Thank you for making predictions, scientists. That is fabulous. Um, yeah, if you want to make your own circuits, it's a bit tricky at the moment because you might not have the kind of kit in your house. But if you go into the Science Learning Hub links that are on our website, who knows, you might find some stuff in the garage that you can use. Just have a look because you just don't know. You might have them around, eh? Yeah. Um, what but was please I don't just play with electricity. If it's plugged into the wall, probably best not to use it. Also, um, Alan, don't, so true. don't really play with electricity unless you're clear on what to use, what type of battery to use, what type of thing to use. I'm just saying we might have made a new segment, the Health and Safety Award. The Health and Safety Award, you got it. there we go. Let's hope you can get the Health and Safety Award cool. too because obviously I'm not getting it today. All right, so awesome. Lots of people have been asking for the joke of the day. Yeah. Mateus said joke of the day already, which I thought was a bit demanding, Mateus, but I like where you're going. Yeah. So um, I just want to read out some comments. Oh, yes, and, do that. Um, we've got, a got lot, it. We've got a lot coming up. We've got a few jokes of the day to – we've got jokes of the day to come up and that. Um, yeah. So what I would just like to say, first of all, is um, tomorrow yeah. we're going to do an experiment. You just need to turn up. Great. Now, the thing with tomorrow's experiment is we're going to talk you through it. We've already done it, but we have not explained it, so we're going to explain it and look at another version. Sweet. When you watch it, you might want to recreate it at home, but please, we're not going to try and do it as a do and do. There is a sort of danger <gasps> element to it. Dang. So we, Health and safety award. We want you to really think about what you're doing, be really clear on what you're doing, and speak to your um, adults, your supervisors, or whoever's around if it is something you can do. So tomorrow we're just going to watch it. We're just going to do it for you. You can turn up with your favourite snacks. And then after that, and with all that information we've given you, you can decide if it's something you can or cannot do. So tomorrow, you don't need to uh, turn up with anything. Bring your snacks, come and say hi, and we'll go from there. I'll also finish cleaning up the egg, put mm. a few pictures of that. They cool. light up pretty nice with torches and stuff, and um, we'll have that tomorrow to show you. Um, Emily. Yes, dear. I had a yummy lunch yesterday. Contain mainly a sprouts. Oh, yes. So what's happening with the sprouts? Oh, my gosh. Oh, so um, we ate all the sprouts, all right? The sprouts are gone. We <laughs> need to find some more sprouts. If you go to our Facebook page, it's quite a few posts down now, mm -hmm. but I am going to – should I plant some tomorrow? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to plant some tomorrow. You can vote for the ones I'm going to plant next. 
Yeah. Um, go onto the Facebook page, vote for what you want to plant next because they don't take that long to grow. And we're going to have a awesome. live plant. We're going to have a live plant day. Yeah, we have a live plant and that is cool. Awesome. So please vote. Yeah. Um, but is it what I think it is right now? It is that moment that everyone's oh, been waiting for. Let's start a drum roll. What did the clown say to the egg? I don't know, Emily. What did the clown say to the egg? You cracked me up. Boom. There we go, my friends. It's been an absolute pleasure sharing you with this. Remember, we are science in a van. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And remember, we always play out with a fantastic tune from Sliding and Flying. Visit them, show them some love. Have a great time. See and you my tomorrow. Friends, keep safe. I think it was actually watch at the egg side of the film. It's okay. Say to the bear. Say it to the bear. Hey, see you later, Facebook. Thanks for tuning in. You're beautiful. Stay that way. Bye, you guys. <laughs> I'm glad you're laughing, Adrian. That's why we're here. Oh, and the learning. Bye. Say it to the bear.